Dentro del teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Esmeralda. Hello. Is it Jonel? Jonel Hernández. Hello, teacher. Antonio. Hello, how are you tonight? Discúlpeme que estaba terminando otra clase, pero ahí, aquí estoy presente. Uh, ok, no problem. So, thank you for your puntuality. Uh, nice to meet you, all of you guys. My name is Ever Nieto. And it's a pleasure to be with you, right? During this in the course, I'm going to be your facilitator. And it's an honor for me, let me tell you. So, Claudia, Esmeralda, eh, let's see, Denny, Jose Eduardo, Oscar, Antonio, and Jonel. Nice to meet you. 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 Okay, nice to meet you guys. So let's start with this English course, right? Uh, I have to mention uh, something that are really important, right? Uh, for this English course. So let me show you um, the presentation. And there are some points that we need to know, right? Just a second. There are some students that are still getting connected to the class. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you, Carlos? Uh, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, that's great. So, welcome everybody to this class, the intermediate one. It's pretty cool. Welcome. So, let's start with this information, right? Okay, welcome to this English course, guys. To pre intermediate one, right? English class. Here we go. Let's start with this. This is an important information that you need to know, right? About homework and evaluation. So you need to achieve at least the 80%, right? So el 80% en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Usted tiene que completar por lo menos este porcentaje para poder obtener su diploma. 80% ¿verdad? en las tareas y evaluaciones. En la plataforma usted va a encontrar tareas y los exámenes. Just two, two exams, meter exam and final exam. Uh, you are going to find this homework and evaluation on the platform. Todos tienen acceso a la plataforma, ya pudieron entrar, ya revisaron que están inscritos en el curso. Yes. 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 Okay, that's excellent. Yes. Okay. ¿Cómo vamos a trabajar en la plataforma? Bueno, se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase, ¿verdad? O al siguiente día de la clase. Pero usted puede ir adelantando ese contenido, ¿verdad? Si usted le queda por ahí un espacio, un tiempo, puede avanzar. Puede avanzar en los diferentes ejercicios. Una clase antes, ¿verdad? antes de la clase final, Usted debe de haber terminado toda la plataforma. Se nos pide el 80% para que se pueda. Pero nosotros vamos por el 100%. ¿no? Vamos a llegar al 100% de esta plataforma. No vamos a dejar ni un ejercicio sin completar. Todo lo vamos a hacer. Vamos a trabajar como un equipo. Si alguien necesita ayuda y alguien puede ayudar en este momento al grupo de WhatsApp, bienvenido sea. Con gusto puede hacerlo, no hay ningún problema. Veamos, Vanessa Hernández, do you have a question? Good evening, teacher. I have a question. Fíjense que en mi casa en la plataforma no me aparece el curso. Sí me aparece el curso, pero me aparece el curso el anterior, no el actual. Y no me aparece en las tareas. Ah, uh, ok. Eh, Vanessa, can you please tell me your full name, please? Bueno, está en el grupo de WhatsApp, right? 
Yes, teacher. ¿Le parece si me envía su nombre completo y su correo, por favor, a mi número personal? Para poder enviar su caso, ¿verdad? Y que la inscriban en la plataforma. Ah, ok, perfecto. Thank, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's continue with this. Um, ¿Por qué debemos trabajar en la plataforma, verdad? No debemos descuidarla porque cada viernes a la medianoche, ¿verdad? Se envía un registro de su trabajo al INSAFORM. Esto es semanalmente. Entonces deben estar terminados esos ejercicios y esas evaluaciones. Por ejemplo, esta es la primera semana. Comenzamos hoy martes y debido a la emergencia nacional que eh, azotó a nuestro país, ¿verdad? Que estábamos todos preocupados. El día de ayer se suspendieron las clases. Esa clase la vamos a recuperar este viernes. Entonces comenzamos hoy y terminamos el viernes. Para el día viernes, usted ya tiene que haber terminado la sección número uno y sección número dos de la plataforma. Entonces, no debemos descuidar este trabajo. Tenemos que irlo haciendo. Y en material de apoyo, si en algún momento hay un material de apoyo, será compartido a través del grupo de WhatsApp y será en formato digital. Bien, it is this case though, right? So, Well, week number one, we are going to work on section number one, section number two. In week number two, section three, and the midterm exam. Week number three, section number four, and week number four, section five, in the final exam. Así vamos a trabajar las cuatro semanas. ¿no? Semana uno, completamos sección uno, sección dos. Semana número dos, nos toca la sección tres y el examen de medio curso. Semana 3 nos toca la sección 4 y en la semana 4 nos toca la sección 5 y el examen final. Estemos pendientes de este trabajo que no se nos acumule, ¿verdad? Si no un día antes de terminar el curso, nos vamos a desvelar, ¿verdad? Resolviendo esa plataforma. Mencionarles que los ejercicios en la plataforma puede realizarlos cuántas veces usted necesite hacerlo, ¿verdad? No hay un límite, ¿verdad? Si a la primera le salió mala, puede intentarlo de nuevo. No hay ningún problema. Hasta que nos quede al 100% esa plataforma. Que eso es lo que queremos lograr. So, let's see. Normas de convivencia durante la sección virtual. El botón silencio, ¿verdad? A veces escuchamos las noticias, escuchamos el partido. Eh, algún perrito que está ladrando por ahí. ¿verdad? Entonces, siempre después de participar, tengamos ese cuidado. ¿verdad? de silenciar nuestro micrófono. Eh, escriba su nombre completo, por favor, en la, para que aparezca ahí, ¿verdad? Escriba ahí su nombre completo para poder llamarlo por su nombre. La cámara debe estar encendida. Participación activa, ¿verdad? Tiene que estar pendiente porque le va a tocar participar mucho en la clase. So, active participation. Uso de chat. Si tiene alguna pregunta, puede hacerlo también por chat. Tiene la opción de la manita virtual, ¿verdad? Si tiene alguna duda, puede levantarla. Y algo que es bien importante, mantener el respeto entre nosotros, ¿verdad? Los miembros de este curso. Y ya para terminar, attendance, la asistencia. ¿verdad? Tiene que participar en el 80% de las clases. 80% porque a veces hay alguna emergencia que no podemos controlar, ¿verdad? Y no podemos estar en la clase, pero siempre trate de avisar, ¿verdad? Que es lo que le sucedió, porque nos preocupamos no verlo durante las clases. Entonces, avisa siempre, ¿verdad? Escriba a mi WhatsApp que no va a poder estar en la clase y escribe el motivo para estar sabedores de qué le sucedió. Avance y desarrollo de la plataforma de aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Tenemos que irla trabajando, si es posible, después de cada clase y puede adelantar contenido, no hay problema. Iniciamos este día ¿verdad? nuestro curso de inglés en nuestro horario de 9 a 10 pm. Dura 60 minutos cada clase. No olvide trabajar los ejercicios en la plataforma. Eso es muy importante para que usted pueda obtener su diploma al final. Do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta con esta información? Anyone? Pregunta. No, no, ahorita no, gracias. No, ok, thank you, Oscar. Thank you, Carlos. 
So before to start the today topics, antes de comenzar el tema del día de hoy, quiero mostrarles un video por acá del trabajo que está haciendo en Safor, ¿verdad? En los diferentes ámbitos para ayudar a las personas o capacitar a las personas de nuestro país. Así que voy a compartir con ustedes el siguiente video. Give me a second, please. Okay, now the video is ready. So let's watch it. Me confirman que sí lo pueden ver y escuchar, please. Sí, lo escuchamos. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Sí, sí. Sí, sí. El Insafor ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del sistema de formación profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo. Contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos. Tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online. Cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Okay. Hello, guys. Can you listen me? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Um, again, yes. welcome to this English course, right? This is the inter intermediate, pre intermediate one English course. Right? Uh, I can see Jose Eduardo, Ileana, Jael, Claudia, Jessica, David, Jonel, right? Así está correcto, Jonel Hernández. Is it correct? Yes, no. Uh, okay, thank you. Moisés, Denis, I have Marco, Esmeralda Isabel, Esmeralda Guadalupe, Carlos William, Oscar Antonio, and Claudia de Salgado. Nice to meet you guys. My name is Ever Nieto. And as I said before, I'm going to be your facilitator of this course. So, me gustaría que alguien se presente, ¿verdad? Comentemos. ¿Quién quiere presentarse el día de hoy? ¿Qué frases son para presentarnos? ¿Se acuerdan? Hello, my name is... Do you remember those phrases? A esta hora, ¿cuál es el saludo apropiado? Goodbye. 
Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, good evening is right. Good evening. Thank you. So I have Jose Eduardo. Thank you, Jose Eduardo. So let's do it. Let's go. Good, good evening. My name is Jose Eduardo. Un gusto estar con ustedes y espero concluyamos okay. el curso. Thank you so much, Jose Eduardo. How do you say un gusto de conocerlos? ¿Cuál era la frase? What is the phrase? Nice to meet you for all. Okay, nice to meet you all of you. Nice to meet you all of you. Un gusto de conocerlos a todos. Any other volunteer? Thank you, Jose Eduardo. Great job. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer? My name is Oscar Antonio Ramos. Um, es un gusto conocerlos a todos también y estar con ustedes. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, all of you. That is the phrase. Thank you, Oscar Antonio. Thank you. Super job. Any other volunteer? Good evening, sir. My name is Carlos William Valdez. Thank you so much, Carlos. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. And anyone? Any other volunteer? Come on, do it. Uh, Try it. My name is Esmeralda Martinez. It's a pleasure. Hi, Esmeralda. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Any other one? Any other? Any other? Okay, guys. That is the topic. Ah, thank you, Jonel. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Jonel Hernandez. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much, Janel. Very good job. Let's go with David Alonso. Thank to everybody. My name is David. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, David. Welcome to the class. Anyone? The last one, the last one, and we start with the class. Just one. Salve sus compañeros. Nobody? Just one, just one. The last one, and we start the class right now. Me. Oh, thank you, Ileana. Uh, my name is Ileana, but you can call me Ili. Uh, nice to meet you all. Thank you so much. Ili, right? Ili. Yes. <laughs> Ely. <laughs> Great. Nice to meet you, Ely. So, Vanessa Hernandez, thank you so much. Hello, good evening. My name is, is Vanessa Hernandez. I am 27 years old. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Vanessa. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, Claudia, thank you, Claudia. Hello. Um, sería... Ya se me olvidó, teacher, los nervios. Oh, don't worry. We are all friends. Sería, hello, ¿verdad? Eh, les quiero decir buenas noches, que sería good evening. Good evening. My name, my name is Claudia de Salgado. Eh, y sería, it's clear for every job. Uh, the last sería un gusto time. para todos. Ah, ok. Nice to meet you, all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Claudia. Welcome okay. to the class. It's nice to meet you too. Okay, guys, so I hope that we have a great time learning this beautiful uh, language, which is English. Espero que nos divertamos, ¿verdad? Aprendiendo este idioma. Uh, okay. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Si tiene alguna pregunta, no duden hacerla, ¿verdad? Pregunte, pregunte, right? Si tiene problemas en la plataforma, también puede escribir en el grupo de WhatsApp. I have a question. Tell me, what is your question? Como se levanta la manita que es la primera vez que descargo su y no le veo ahí cuando levanta la manita. Le dice reacciones. Ok, hay un icono de una carita y un signo más, como un ganchito en el pelo que dice reacciones y ahí está la manita. Ok, ya, ya, ya. Gracias. Ok, thank you. Thank you so much. So, vamos a hacer un equipo, ¿verdad? Durante estas cuatro semanas que vamos a estar en clases, eh, ayudémonos entre todos, ¿verdad? Y mantengamos el respeto siempre, ¿verdad? Si alguien tiene alguna duda, algún ejercicio difícil, lo puede mandar, ¿verdad? Mande capturas al grupo de WhatsApp 
Y si alguien está disponible en este momento y ya resolvió el ejercicio, pues ayudémosle al compañero, ¿verdad? Para que todos podamos llegar al 100% de la plataforma antes de la última clase, que es el objetivo, ¿verdad? Y que usted pueda obtener su diploma. Recuerde que ayudando a los demás aprendemos más, right? So let's start with tonight class. And uh, let me show you the presentation. We were this part. And this is the first topic. Please call me Beth. That is the name of the first section of this English course. So we have this objective for tonight. In this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. So that is the first goal for tonight. Vamos a aprender a presentarnos a nosotros mismos, así como lo hicimos al inicio de la clase. We say hello, uh, good evening, my name is Ever Nieto. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. So by the end of the lesson, participants will understand and use positive objectives. También es, en esta clase vamos a hablar acerca de los adjetivos positivos, ¿verdad? Para decir que esto es mío, que esto es de ella, que esto es de él, esto es de nosotros, ¿ok? In order to, let's see, introduce their names and to express possession. Let's start with this. Uh, are you able to see this conversation? Can you see this conversation? Let me know, please. You can see it. Is it possible yes. for you to read it? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So let's listen in the first part of this conversation. Hello, I'm David Garza. I am a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Like Liliana, right? You say, please call me Ilio. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. ¿Alguna palabra nueva en esa pequeña conversación? New word. Bet. Bet. Mm, bet. Mm. Oh, bet. Eh, es nombre, es, Bet. Yes, it's a nickname. Es como un disminutivo de Elizabeth. So he say, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Bet. Me llamo Elizabeth, pero por favor llámame Beth. That's it. So, any other question? Como hizo Ili. Yes. My name is Liliana, but please call me Ili. Okay. Thank you. And the next question, where are you from? Do you remember the answer for this question? Where are you from, Jose Eduardo Mengibar? I am from El Salvador. Thank you so much. Where are you from, Lionel Hernandez? I'm from El Salvador. Excellent answer. Oscar Antonio, where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's do an exercise. Y si usted no hubiera nacido en El Salvador, ¿en qué país hubiera gustado nacer? Choose another country. Go, go. Mexico, Portugal. Spain, German, German, eh, Brazil, United States, Russia, Ukraine, Japan, Korea, China, in which country? Alaska. And let us start with this. So, Vanessa Hernandez, where are you from? Don't tell me El Salvador, tell me another country. Where are you from, Vanessa Hernandez? I am from Brazil. Excellent. Thank you. So you speak Portuguese, right? You are Brazilian, you speak Portuguese. That's great. So, Claudia, where are you from? I'm from Paris. Oh, that's great. I'm from France. I live France. in Paris. I'm from France. I live in Paris. And I speak French. Thank you. Excellent. Veamos, Jose Eduardo Mejibar, where are you from? I don't know. I, I am from Paraguay. 
Okay, good. I'm from Paraguay and I speak. What is the language in Paraguay? They uh, speak Spanish. No? Spanish, yes, they speak Spanish. And Jessica Esmeralda, where are you from? I am from Spain. Excellent. She's a Spanish. She speaks Spanish. She lives in Madrid. Perfect. Or le va al Barcelona. Yes, yes. Moises Antonio, where are you from, Moises? From Swedish. Okay, that's great. From Swedish. Nice. And do you speak Swedish, French, too? That's that great. Very good. Now, where is Jessica from? ¿De dónde dijo ella que era? Where is Jessica from? So you say she is from... She is from Spain. Spain. Ah, ok. Vamos a ver si pusieron atención a sus compañeros. Where is Claudia from? England. France. Paris. France. Yes. Ok. She is from France. Wow. Very good. France. And where is Carlos from? Uruguay. 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 No, Carlos Paraguay. Paraguay. Oh, Paraguay. 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 <laughs> Paraguay. Okay, great. Great. Thank you. So let's continue with the class. So let's take a look of this. Where is it? Give me a second. Let's come back to this conversation. Let's listen the first part of the conversation. Escuchemos la primera parte de la conversación. Hello. ¿Pueden escuchar? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi. My name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay. Where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Sun He okay. is here. Who's Sun He? She's my classmate. That was the first part of this conversation. Hello, I'm David Garza. So that is a phrase to introduce ourselves. I'm, I'm Ever, I'm Claudia, I'm Oscar, I'm Carlos. We say I'm. Y el otro saludo sería hi. Que significa lo mismo, ¿verdad? Hello and hi. And my name is, es la otra forma, ¿verdad? Puedo decir I'm o puedo decir my name is. Eh, the question, where are you from? Ya vimos cómo se responde. Ahora, how about you? What is the meaning of this question? How about you? Do you have any idea? Háblame de ti. Ok, excellent. So you say, ¿qué hay de ti, verdad? Where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? De donde eres tú? How about you? I'm from Mexico and you say, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Okay, so let's start. We are going to ourselves here. ¿Cuáles son los saludos? Do you remember the greetings? Greetings, do you remember the greetings? Which are the greetings? Buenos días, buenas tardes. Which are they? Do you remember them? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good good night. night. Perfect job. Thank you. I can see that you remember all of them. So let's start. Está de mañana y se encuentra José Eduardo con Oscar Antonio in the mall, in el centro comercial. No se conocen, es la primera vez. So, José Eduardo va a empezar la conversación. Sería... ¿Con hello. quién dijo que me iba a encontrar? Un Oscar Antonio Ramos. Okay. Sería, hello, good morning. Hi. Uh, hello, good morning, Oscar. And, uh, uh, what's your name? Uh, good morning. My name is Oscar Ramos. And you? Nice to meet you, Oscar Antonio. Where are you from? Uh, I am I am from Brazil. Okay. okay. And you? I, I, I am from Paraguay. Ah, right. 
eh, cómo es en Paraguay, pero no sé cómo se dice. <risa> ok, very good, very good to start, very good to start. Speak some ah, Paraguay. Ok, eh, great, great job. Thank you, Oscar and José Eduardo. That was almost perfect. ¿Qué faltó? ¿Qué hizo falta? Say hello, good morning. Ahí tenía que presentarte, ¿verdad? ahí tenía que decir su nombre. Hello, good morning, my name ah, is. My name is. Ajá, era primera vez okay. que lo veía. Continuemos uh, sí. con Jessica y Josael Jiménez. Can you tell me, Jessica, Esmeralda and Josael? Okay. Yes, okay, here we go. Jessica, can you please start the conversation? Okay. Hello, my name is Jessica Martinez. And what is your name? Hello, Jessica. My name is Irving Jose Ruiz Jimenez. Well, nice to meet you. Um, what, nice to meet you too. How old are you? Uh, 32 years old. And okay. you? I am 22 years old. Okay. Where um, are you from, Jessica? I am from El Salvador. And you? It's really beautiful, El Salvador. And I'm from, I from Japan. Yeah. And you, what? Okay. Thank you. And nice so to meet you. Okay, thank you, Jessica. Thank you so much. Okay, to finish a conversation, para finalizar sorry, una conversación, we say, frases para terminar una conversación. See you later. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. bye, nice bye. To meet you. Uh, take later. care. Take care. Thank you. Very well. Those phrases. Okay, bye bye, goodbye, see you later. Thank you, thank you so much, Jessica. See ya. Okay, see you tomorrow, or see ya. Thank you, Esmeralda. So let's continue with the volunteer, the last two volunteers, los últimos dos voluntarios. O los seguimos escogiendo. Ah, tengo David and Dennis, thank you. So David, can you please start the conversation with Dennis? Please. Good morning. My name is David. What's your name? Your microphone, then. Hi, David. Good morning. My name is Dennis. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How old are you? You years, and I live in El Salvador. Where are you from? I am from USA. I'm I'm 22 years old, and it was a pleasure to meet you. See you soon. Okay. Hola. Oh, aquí está. See you soon. Te veo después, dijo David. See you later. Ah, okay, excellent. Thank you so much. So, using those phrases, we start a conversation, right? We say, hello, good morning, I'm, I'm ever, or you can use my name is. My name is. Then we use phrases like, how are you? Hey, nice to meet you. Now let's go with the next part of this. Thank you so much. You did a great job in this part. Thank you. Then let's take a look at some Hello. phrases that we use in here are they. Hello, I'm or my name is. Please call me and where are you from? De donde eres? Tonight, we are going to continue with this statement with the verb to be. Do you remember the verb to be? I'm pretty sure that you remember this verb, right? It means 
What is the meaning of the word to be in Spanish? Ser. Pero estar. Yes, right. And this is the most famous verb, probably. You say ser o estar. Teacher, ¿y por qué nos enseñan eso cada rato? Because it's really important, really, it's really basic that we know this verb. So, ¿cuáles son las tres formas de este verbo? Presente simple. And is are. Ok, excellent. And is and also are. Y los conjugamos de la siguiente manera. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, and they are. Now, contractado, se pueden contractar, ¿verdad? En una oración puede ir contractado con el subject, con el sujeto. Then I have I, your, his, his, it, we're, and their. I'm, your, his, his, it, we're, and their. So let's listen this example. Escuchemos. Pay attention to the contracted form of the verb to be with the subject in this example, please. Give me a second. Statements with B. Possessive adjectives. Statements with B. I'm from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He's from Japan. She's a new club member. It's an exciting city. We're in the same class. They're my classmates. Contractions of B. Okay, one volunteer to read this example, please. Who wants to participate? Denise, do you have a question? Denise Miranda, do you have a question? Or do you want to participate? No, no question. Jonel, thank you so much. Can you please read the example? Contractions, yes. Yes, please. I'm, I am. You're, you are. She's, she is. He's, she is. It, it is. Where, we are. There, they are. Wow, super job. Thank you so much, Janelle. You did a great job. Thank you. Uh, any other volunteer to read the statement? Las oraciones, please, están de este lado. Any volunteer? Thank you, David. Thank you so much. I'm from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He's from Japan. She's a new club member. It's an exciting city. We're in the same class. They're my classmates. Excellent job. Thank you. Exciting city. It's an exciting city. Thank you. Excellent job. Jonel, do you have a question? No. Okay. Thank you. Then let's go with positive adjectives. ¿Para qué nos sirven los adjetivos positivos? Positive adjectives eh, help us to say my, ¿verdad? que algo me pertenece, para hablar de pertenencia, ¿verdad? Let's see, for example, my car, my house, my cup, my cell phone, my cat, my dog. Your, para decir que algo le pertenece, te pertenece a ti, ¿verdad? Your, your TV, your room, your classroom, his, para decir que algo le pertenece a él. His, his, his name, his shoes, her, para decir que algo le pertenece a ella. Her sandal, her skirt, her dress, her earring, it, para decir que algo le pertenece a esto, ¿verdad? o hablando de cosas o animales, it, it, let's see, for example, it color is green, it, um, color is gray, our, para decir que algo nos pertenece a nosotros, our class, um, our house, our car, our bike, their, que les pertenece a ellos, their house, their car, their money, algo que les pertenece a ellos. Para eso utilizamos los positive adjectives. 
y ellos son my, your, it, their, it, our, and their. So let's go with the next example here. Statements with B. Positive adjectives. Para decir que algo es mío, ¿verdad? Yo uso cuál. ¿Cuál de esos? Positive adjectives. ¿Cuál necesito? My. 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 Para decir que algo es de él. Yo necesito. Is. Is. Thank you. Para decir que algo le pertenece a mi perrito, yo utilizo. It's. 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 Muy bien. And I have here some examples. My family, his mother, her car, our brother, and so on. Y así, bueno, para ir diciendo lo que le pertenece. Veamos. So remember, I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, they, their. For example, we say, my family, his mother, her car, our brother, and so on. Yeah. So let's continue. Using the correct form of the verb to be to complete these sentences. The first one, my teacher is American, I'm American or are American. Is. 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 Okay, you say is. Yes, you're right. My teacher is American. Number two. We are are school. Perfect. We are. We are at the school. The next this is is, 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 is. Okay. Very good job. Thank you. This is my dictionary. My. This is my dictionary. We are our students. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You say are. They are, 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 they are, Sylvia yeah. is, it is, 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 is it correct? It's correct. No. Oh. No. Uh, no. no. Is, is, is. Sylvia is, he, is, is, he is, is. He is. He is. He is. very easy, right? Yes. Daniel and I, are. 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 Okay, yes, please. And I are teacher. I am. Uh, um, I am. Perfect. I am. Thank you. Liz and Katie. Are. 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 Perfect. This is easy for you. I can see. Very good. So, any volunteer to help me reading number one, two, and three, please? Who went? Who went? One volunteer, please, to read sentence one, two, and three. Anyone? Nobody? Then I'm going to choose. Early, can you help me, please? Okay, teacher. Um, number one, my teacher is American. We are at the school. This is my dictionary. Perfect. Very good pronunciation. Thank you so much, Lily. Any other volunteer? Four, five, and six. Thank you, Denise. Number four, we are the student. Number five, they are from Spain. Number six, Sylvia is my sister-in-law. Thank you so much. Now, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Any volunteer? Thank you, David. Thank you so much. He is my friend. Daniel and I are a teacher. I am from El Salvador. Luis and Kathy are co workers. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, vamos a ver. Let's see. Tell me a number from 1 to 10. Um, let's see from 1 to 15. I'm going to write here one of these numbers. El que adivine le tocan todas las oraciones. So, everyone, tell me a number. Two. Two. No, you're you're safe. Anyone? Seven. Seven. Seven? No, Denise. Sorry. Ten. Four. Nine. Four. No. 
10? Nine. Okay, who say 10? Okay, yeah, 10, what's the number? Can you see it? Number 10. I see it. Okay, can you please read the sentence there? The one and the lunar diet. Yes, please. My, my teacher is American. We are at the, at the school. This is my dictionary. We are students. They are from Spain. Sylvia is my sister-in-law. She is my friend. Daniel and, R, Daniel and I are teachers. I'm from Salvador. Lucky, Luis and Cari are co-workers. Excellent, thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Wow, that was great. Thank you so much. Let's continue. In the next exercise, you are going to complete the sentence using the right uh, positive adjective. So let's go with this. Just a second, I'm going to raise the answer here and let's continue. And using positive adjective, can you please complete these sentences using the right positive adjective for each sentence? Number one, it says, hi, folks. This is? My pet. My pet. Okay, great. To say, this is my pet. What is the meaning of that word, folks? Friends. Yeah, you're right. Folks means friends too. This is my pet. Bob and Liz are reading. So what is their, the right positive? Their, their favorite. Their favorite. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Their, their favorite books. Maggie loves reading. Oh, sorry, writing. Maggie loves writing. Her, Her favorite. Her bike. Okay. Her bike. Her, Her bike. bike. We are having lunch with our grandparents. Thank you, David. They... Our grandparents. Or, uh -huh. We are having lunch with our grandparents. My plays with Kai every day. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he's. Or... Yes. Mike play with his tie every day. And this is Jake's dog. It's 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 you eat. Is it correct? No. No, uh, why uh, not? Sin la comita. <laughs> apostrophe. Oh, apostrophe, yes. It's in this way, if. Thank you. This is Jake's dog. Its name is Rex. Rex. Su nombre es Rex. And let's go. Practice the sentences. One, two, and three. Any volunteer? No volunteer? Oh, thank you, David. Thank you so much. I fault. This is my pet. Bob and Liz are reading their favorite books. Maggie loves riding her bike. Thank you. Four, five, and six. Anyone? Uh, me, teacher. Okay. Uh, first, Marco, and then Jonel. Okay. We are having lunch with our grandparents. Mike plays with his kite every day. This is Jack Stocks. Its name is Rex. Perfect job, thank you. Jonel, one, two, and three, please. Hi, folks. This is my pet. Bob and Liz are reading their favorite book. Maggie loves hey. reading her bike. Excellent job, thank you. Super job, Jonel. And Josael, do you have a question or do you want to participate? Okay, okay. We are having lunch with our grandparents. My playing with his kids every day. This Jade's dog is named Rex. Excellent. Thank you so much, Josael. Yes, you work. Hi. My plays with his kite every day. 
the rest perfect thank you so much thank you for your help in this part now we are going to work in a small group right i'm going to divide the class in a small group and we are going to work in the next thing which you are going to introduce yourself to your classmates that they are presenting as compañeros right we are going to work the keywords Okay, group of three. Vamos a trabajar en grupo de tres. Usted tiene que presentar sus compañeros. Eh, hello, good evening. My name is Jonel Hernández. Nice to meet you. Okay. And then we are going to practice a conversation. So let's see, for example, hello, my name is Ever. What's your name? Moisés. Antonio. Hello, Ever. My name is Moises. Nice to meet you, Moises. Me too. Okay. So, in this way, we are going to practice with your classmates. Okay. We are going to have five minutes to complete this exercise. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Is yes. It clear? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Solo yes. presentarnos. Yes. Okay. Give me a Three people. One, two, three. Okay. Let me see. Bueno, les va a llegar una invitación para que se pueda unir a las salas, ¿verdad? con sus compañeros. Let's practice. See you in five minutes, guys. Los veo en cinco minutos. You know, David, le llegó la invitación para unirse a las salas, David. Hello. David Alonso. Nice. I am from Cojutepeque. Oh, nice. Hello, did you finish? Terminaron? Yes? Yes, yes, I found it. Yes. Let's listen, Vanessa. Repeat, please. Eh, can you please introduce yourself, Vanessa? Que me presente. Yes, please. Okay. Um, good evening. My name is Isabel Vanessa Hernandez. I am from El Salvador. I live in Cojutepeque. I am 27 years old. Good night. Okay, excellent, Vanessa. Which are your three favorite things? ¿Cuáles son las tres cosas que más de ti aprecia de todo lo que tiene? ¿Qué es lo que me gusta? ¿O tres cosas? Tres posesiones que usted aprecie. 
my family, uh, my pet, y study, study. Okay, okay, great. Let's listen, Danny. Okay, hello, my name is Danny. I am from El Salvador. I have 22 years old. My favorite color is black. Mm. I consider myself a, a hard worker. Um, I'm pet friendly and I a happy person every day and it's so it's it's right. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much, Dennis. Tell me three things that you really appreciate. Um, I love pets. Um, I love cleaning my space and. I love my family. Okay, thank you so much. What about you, William? It's your turn. Nice to meet you. I am I'm Carlos Valdez. Uh, my favorite is family, my son. Uh, I, I love you so much, my work. <laughs> and I, I, I live in, in Antigua Busta Club. Ok, thank you so much. Eh, ¿Pueden decirme algo que ame, Carlos? Bien, bien. Hello. Hello. ¿Cuál adjetivo positivo necesito uh, para decir él ama a su familia? Hey. ¿Cuál es el posible? Sí. He is ¿Y cuál es la oración? He is loving your family. He is loving your family. Ok. He loves his family. He loves his family. Como digo, Dennis ama a su perrito. You say you have a pet dog, right? And that is his loving then he loves his pet. Okay, then he loves his pet. Then he loves his pet. Thank you. Y como digo, Vanessa ama su estudio. ¿Cómo sería Vanessa ama sus estudios? Okay, what are you studying, Vanessa? He loves his story. Ok, he love her mayor, ella ama su carrera, mayor, la que está estudiando. He loves her, her, her mayor. Ok, thank you so much. See you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. Think continue sharing, right? What is your favorite color? What is your favorite animal? For you to practice, right? With your classmates. So continue asking questions. You are doing a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Can you have a favorite place? Okay. Hello, hello, welcome again to the class. How was your practice? Did you share with your classmates? Did you share with your classmate? Yes or not? How was it? It was easy. It was difficult. Everyone participated. Alguien no pudo participar. What happened? Tell me. How was your practice? Did you enjoy your practice with your classmate? Yo no pude participar, teacher. Me sacó del, del, de, los, de, los, de la sala. Y oh. ahorita me conecté. Uh, oh, really? I'm sorry to hear that, but you can share with us. Introduce yourself, please, in the class. We are going um, to listen to you. Uh, hello, no, good evening. My name is Ileana. Um, nice to meet you all. Okay, I am from... Uh, I am from El Salvador. Uh, no recuerdo qué más teníamos que decir. Ah, ok, that's great. Thank you so much. 
Uh, thank you guys for your help. Uh, I really appreciate your participation during this class. It has been a pleasure to be with you. Uh, do you have any question about tonight's class? No question? No. No. No question. No question. No question. Okay, so see you tomorrow then at 9 o'clock p.m., right? Uh, sleep well and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, bye teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 See you later. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.